Hi, this is Sandy Adams with Chapter by Chapter. We're encouraging people to read a chapter of their Bible every day. Here's a 90-second summary from the book of Acts. This is episode 3. We hope it whets your appetite and causes you to read the whole chapter. In Acts chapter 3, Peter and John bump into a beggar who asks for a handout. Peter's pockets are empty, but he does have faith to believe God for a healing. Imagine the pressure on Peter. He reaches down to lift to his feet a man who has never walked. What if his crippled legs collapse? Onlookers will accuse Peter of cruelty. Perhaps the man will sue. But I'm not sure any of those concerns, those concerns that would have flooded my mind, were contemplated by Peter. God had given him the gift of faith. The man walks and leaps for joy. Next time you need a miracle, pray not only for your miracle, but for faith to believe. Ironically, the church today has loads of what Peter lacked, but we lack what Peter had. We have money, but few miracles. Lord, strengthen our faith. God has ulterior motives behind his miracles. Miracles attract attention and provide his servants a chance to preach. Peter seizes that opportunity. But unlike many of today's miracle workers, Peter doesn't linger in the limelight. He quickly gives the glory to God. If the people turn from sin and turn to God, God will turn to them. Peter offers times of refreshing. This is another name for the kingdom age yet to come. But it also describes a life in Christ. What a fitting way to depict the rush of blessing that God pours out on a surrendered heart. Times of refreshing.